Lynn, um, I was wondering, <coughs> would you say this experience has changed your personal politics in any way? Well, I think it certainly expanded my view of um, the government and um, the fact that uh, apparently we're living in a surveillance state. Um, when this started, um, an attorney who is not connected with the case warned me. He said, the government will have access to all your phone calls and emails unless they're encrypted. And I was shocked. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And since then, it's become the new reality with the NSA um, that I'm very aware of that. And of course, for someone who's read 1984, I find that pretty alarming. <laughs> um, again, not the America I grew up in. We never thought about, is the government listening to my phone call? Never. Um, and it's, it doesn't take a whole lot of imagination. You know, it, I've had people say, you know, it's kind of like with the Fourth Amendment issue. Well, it doesn't matter how they find evidence. It, it, if you stay away from illegal activity, it's like saying, well, I have nothing to hide. They can spy on me. Well, that's assuming that the government will not expand its power or abuse it. And obviously our founders didn't think that. And recently, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of uh, the importance of privacy in the 21st century with, um, there's a case, Riley versus California, which established the importance of um, digital privacy and also said that digital property is, uh, deserves as much constitutional protection as physical property. But the um, prosecution acts like these landmark decisions don't exist and um, don't mention them. And Joshua Draytel says, well, that they're just stuck in the 70s. And it shows how bankrupt, legally and intellectually, their arguments are. And um, so, yeah, it's, I've learned a lot <laughs> on this steep learning curve this past year. And um, you know, I've always been, I always thought the Constitution was a sacred document, or very inspired, at least. And um, to see it disregarded the way it is, I find scary. It's what stands between us and an overreaching government, and it's important to uphold it. Yeah, thanks. Good to you see you. Question, yeah. No, I'll pass. Thank you. Um, so, I, I, I too think it's frightening the idea of a surveillance state, um, but but uh, I suspect that we can all also agree that that drugs are bad. You know, I've, I've, yeah. I've oh, lost yeah. a lot of friends to drugs. And so if, and I, and I get that this is an if, and I think this is the first part of my question, is like, is, is do, do you all think that the heart of the issue for the government, however much a failure of the drug war might be, is the drug war? Like, is it really like we are trying to fight drugs? Because if so, like, I agree with that too. And then my second part of the question would be, and if, if that is the case, is there some path to cooperation here? Is there some path that like, we don't want surveillance, but we also don't want drugs. Can we Can we work together somehow to, the, the two parties that are, that are the government versus whoever the other group is that I'm still not sure I can wrap my head around that, can they be working together to fight something that probably most of us agree should be fought? I don't know if that question made sense. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess it depends if you think it's the government's job to do that. I agree with you. Uh, I, hey, let's everybody, let's all stop using drugs and then we'll solve everything. <laughs> They'll solve the whole drug do, war. Do I don't know if it actually would, because do you think I think that, is that the heart of their issue, though, is, is actually drugs. Well, since it hasn't worked in forty years, I wonder, right. to be honest. And um, I don't know. You know, I'm not. I don't feel really qualified to say. I'm not here to defend Silk Road at all. I'm not here to defend certainly drug use. Um, I agree. I have heard the argument that it is. You know, people are going to make bad choices. Is it the government's job to? And where is the authority? Right. To enforce that big question um, you know certainly we're, yeah I, 